I think the biggest challenge for professionals in this field today is dealing with the consequences of success. And it translates out into complexity and heterogeneity. On the complexity front, our systems are getting more and more complex. We're asking the cloud and data centers to do ever more and more. And that translates into practical things like real estate. Is the future data centers plus colos together? Uh, what does it mean for energy? What does it mean for density of computing systems? So this is a field that for professionals is gonna get exponentially more complex in the service of making life ever more simple for users. Big data, no way. We're in the age of small data compared to what lies ahead. We're gonna look back a couple of years from now and laugh at the fact that people said we were overwhelmed by data. Now this idea of the cloud is a very old idea. You can go all the way back to the 1960s when people were talking about information utilities that we would plug into the wall for computing power. Pull the thread forward and you see it leading right up to the cloud. The big surprise now is the sheer heterogeneity of data. It's not just people typing in stuff, it's sensor data and the like. And in fact, human generated data in the next 10 years is going to be like voice conversation over networks. Put two IT professionals together and a bottle of wine, and inevitably the question is, isn't Moore's Law gonna stall out? My answer to that is twofold. One, Moore's Law is not stalling out. We keep finding new technology, so you can count on Moore's Law continuing for the foreseeable future. However, the hidden cost of Moore's Law is the additional complexity of systems. And so I think that going forward, Moore's Law isn't going to be the restraining factor. The restraining factor is going to be getting our heads around the complexity and getting our heads around the business models. And the consequence, I think, is that we're going to see a process of punctuated equilibrium. Rapid change to a plateau of relative stability, and then another phase of rapid change as a new technology combination comes in and changes the landscape. So there you are, working at your desk, heads down, dealing with the minutiae of what's going on. It's really easy to forget that we're in the middle of a revolution. You know, it's sort of like a bookseller in the Renaissance didn't look up and say, wow, I'm in the middle of a revolution. It's like, oh my gosh, I gotta sell my books or I'm gonna go out of business. I think it's a really good idea from time to time to lean back, think about the big picture, and don't lose sight of the fact that as IT professionals, you are on the absolute edge of this frontier. And what we're doing with digital technology is truly changing the world, hopefully for the better.